Mary Jane Ansell, and this is my show of Dreams, Birds and Bones. Dreams is because many of my ideas come to me when I'm in that kind of half-sleep, half-wake stage that's hypnagogic. Inspiration comes in a fully formed sometimes to me, so a lot of these paintings I see before I even sketch them out, so they're sort of fully formed to the point that I can see the model, I know what costume they need, I know what lighting they might have and they'll probably come from something that I've been reading, they might come from other paintings that I've previously done and they're joining a story that I started telling some years ago. So there are paintings in this show that refer directly to paintings I did five, six, ten years ago. So Hope in the Reckoning. This is a painting really, it's quite an emotional painting for me. The show's dedicated to my mum and this painting was from a period where we were waiting to hear something. It was, the hope is the hope that we had, that the reckoning would be, would be a good outcome. So Georgie particularly is the model that you'll see in many paintings here. And she's always been a talisman for me. She's a face that has been in paintings of mine that have done so many things com com independently of, of me. They've become album covers for Adamant or they've become posters. So it was important to me to have Georgie in as Hope. It was important for me to have this piece here, so it was the first, really it was the first of this series. Sometimes you don't know that the series, where the series starts, and, and it can feel kind of disconnected until you do the whole body of work, and then you'll look back and understand what it was that you started saying. painting The Treaty features the model Georgie who I've worked with since she was about 15 and we've worked together for 10 plus years I think now. She is a character that embodies so many different characters, so many strands of, of women that I want to show in my work. She's strong and independent and brilliant and bright and talented. And she personifies different aspects so easily that she's the perfect muse to work with. And she seems to capture other people's imaginations too. So one of the paintings of Georgie caught Adamant's eye, for example, when he was walking past uh, at the gallery where I was having a show and he saw her face and knew that it was the face he wanted for his album. And her face was also the face that the BP Portrait Award chose as their advert for the portrait exhibition, their annual award. And it appeared in, in all sorts of things. She seems to be my lucky charm. This painting is called The Shadow of the Seventh. It has features six magpies. Now, when I was growing up, there's a, an old traditional rhyme about the superstition around magpies. And they have a meaning for each magpie that you see. So you might see one magpie, that's for sorrow, two are for joy, three are for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, and seven for a secret, never to be told. So seven is missing here because it's a secret that I wasn't gonna share within this painting. This is Liberty Sleeping. I have a series of paintings featuring the character Liberty that Georgie plays in this painting again. And Liberty it has been something that's been re very important to the UK and to the States too over the last few years. And we're all seeing a period hoping that all our liberties are going to be cared for and taken care of by the politicians that take care of us. Um, and obviously we're, we are two nations that often share similar interests and very strong connections. Sometimes we're involved in actions that not all of us are happy about. And it can be a delicate subject to talk about with a lot of people, and it's one that raises so many passions. And we all love our countries. Within those things, we have to protect our liberties. Um, and sometimes we have to be aware that some of them are under threat and just look out for them. So uh, it, this painting's really about, about that, being aware of 
why the Olivetes are being looked after. This portrait of Mason, rather than a portrait of Mason, though, the character that she's playing really is the White Heart. Um, I've worked with Mason since she was uh, 15, 15, 16, similar to Georgie, too. The White Heart is her, almost like her animal shadow self. This little study, like everything, is a, an oil painting on aluminium. It's an aluminium panel. Um, aluminium because it's very conservationally sound, it doesn't warp, it doesn't, uh, in, it, it protects the oil so it doesn't crack, it's conservationally free, it will stand up and look, look as good as it can for years. So I love it, it's light and beautiful to work on and it lets me have a really eggshell smooth finish to the, to the painting which I love, I love to be able to get up and really see the brush marks in other painters' work. This painting's legacy. This is an amazingly talented photographer called Justina Nero and her daughter Nell. And they work together on Justina's work, um, making costumes that, that they, they dress Nell up in and her mum takes amazing pho photographs of her. When I saw Justina's work, I knew that it was a project that I wanted to capture. And it's an ongoing series that I will do of mothers with daughters who are doing something together, that are sharing something, that are documenting their childhood. And through it, Justina talks about her childhood as well, and they share this history together. And as they've both kind of grown up, their tales are there in her work, and it's something that I wanted to, to also talk about. Treasury of Souls. Uh, it's connected to the series, really, with, with Liberty, again, so it touches on similar themes. The Treasury of Souls refers to where doves are kept, a dovecot. It's also known as the Treasury of Souls, which I thought was absolutely beautiful because it also talks about some... A, a, we have such a connection to doves being a symbol of peace and a treasury somewhere that you look after something valuable.